Hello, everyone. Today we have this uh, beautiful uh, Tama kit from 2004. It was a limited edition. Uh, Tama officially called it the uh, Volcanic Fire Kit. Uh, 150 of these kits were made and 300 matches snares. Now, these feature eight plies of African bobinga. The outer ply, it's made out of uh, richly detailed quilted bobinga. And it makes this kit, this particular kit, 100% bobinga. I know Tama recently, you know, in their star line, which are amazing drums, by the way, um, they feature less plies and the inner and outer plies are something different and exotic. Like, you know, you may find one where it has cordia on the inner ply, the one you see through the drum head. And then on the outer, they may have something like um, uh, bird's eye maple or something exotic like that, you know. Uh, the manufacturing process has been the same. Uh, these kits are made, were made in the Japan factories where they currently make the Starline, you know, same crew and everything. Um, the Starline obviously offers some enhancements in hardware and stuff like that, but, you know, the manufacturing process is essentially the same. Um, now, these are very different from the Starline of today. As, you know, I said before, these are nine plies of African bobinga. These are thick shells, no re-rings. And they offer a pretty unique sound. Um, if I were to describe the sound, it's, it, it'll be something, uh, you know, deep, rich, lots of resonance. They're definitely punchy and very, very responsive. So, um, yeah, that's that. They're not anything like uh, maple or birch. These are in... Uh, a whole category of their own nothing like them so when it comes to oh you know what uh how do they sound to compare to maple well they're darker than maple they have a lot of uh, characteristics that are similar but not quite there like for example you know maple is very resonant very loud these i wouldn't i wouldn't call them very loud they do have some you know really nice resonance but the, the tone is darker, so it is just different. It's not, I'm not saying it's better or worse, it's just different. And um, unlike birch, because birch is a very popular uh, wood for drums, uh, these are just punchier. They, they, they are very similar in, ju in just the fact that they're dark-sounding drums. Great for recording, but man, they are punchy. And, you know, when I, when I say that these are resonant, when you... When you tap on that bass drum, you can feel the vibrations upstairs in the in the living room upstairs. It makes the other drums just vibrate. So uh, proper tuning is critical, so that you know you're not having all kinds of overtones while not e while you're not even playing the drum. At first, you know the mics, the microphones for the for the floor toms were picking up some really low end frequencies without even playing them, just by playing the bass drum. So yeah. That's how resonant they are. Um, I've, I've tried these with multiple heads, including two-ply heads, uh, coated, and single-ply clear. I find single-ply clear to be my favorite just because it allows these drums to sing. Now, they do have die-cast soups, and this is one of the few kits where die-cast soups actually works with the toms. I wouldn't put... I wouldn't, me, myself, I wouldn't put die-cast hoops on a maple kit. But, um, you know, everybody, everybody's taste is different. Like, you know, if you were to put die cast hoops on a maple kit with uh, really thick uh, double ply drum heads, you know, that may just be the sound you're looking for. Punchy, no resonance, you know, and it's all good and then, you know. But me, I, I like the drums to sing, especially uh, with a band. Um, the band makes it to where... You know, you know, you know, I'm not, I'm talking about a rock band. I, I play rock. So when we have two half stacks on each side, um, single play heads just make everything pop, sound well, and cut through all of the mix. So that's my take on drum heads with this particular kit. And then uh, 300 of the snares were made. 
separate from the from the kits and they got they obviously came with a certificate of authenticity i bought these pre-owned so i don't have the certificate i i just have those uh seven piece um I mean, i'm sorry the six piece uh drum shells which is uh eight inch the 10 inch and the 12 inch uh tom toms 14 and 16 floor time and a 22 by 18 bass drum and what I use for a snare is a DW Super Solid. Um, I'm probably going to get buried in there. Or at least put, if, if I get cremated, my ashes will go right into that drum. Just because you know, it's been my favorite through all the years. I'll never get rid of it. And yeah, that's it's all a personal thing. I'm not saying it's better than your snare drum. But, uh, but yeah, uh, I'm going to show you guys what these sound like in just a bit. Um, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.